Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard, Cisneros, at your service. Today I will be reading the May 25th Facebook post and making a few comments on it, and I trust it will assist both of us on our journeys. Here we go. Where judgment once stood, now let gratitude stand. Mahatma Gandhi said, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Have we as, as a people not yet tired of answering judgment with judgment? anger with anger and revenge with revenge? What solutions has the ego's thought system ever truly offered us? Is it not time for us to at least consider another way? Imagine for a moment that we are love's creation and thus that we are only love. Imagine this love having two expressions, love or the call for love, which is a call for assistance. Imagine if any moment you perceived your brother doing something that has caused you thoughts of judgment, anger, and revenge, was now understood as a moment where not only he was asking for assistance, but because we are all one, so too are you. Yes, you have unconsciously asked your brother to help you bring forth to your conscious awareness those areas in your life where you still perceive the ego's thought system as real. That reactions and expressions of judgment, anger, and revenge are correct and proper responses to God's creation. And so today we offer gratitude, not judgment, for our brother's participation in our experience, for helping us remember that we are no longer, that we no longer desire to support the ego's thought system as having a place in our consciousness. Today we practice turning our judgments of others and self into gratitude. And why would, we, why would we make this shift? Because judgment is actually showing us where we have been programmed to separate ourselves from God's grace, from God's love, from God's mercy from who in truth we are. And so wouldn't people, thoughts, words, emotions, actions that are showing you where you have programmed yourself and have been programmed to separate yourself from God, if those thoughts, words, emotions, actions showed you exactly where you were separating yourself from them, from God, would you not be grateful to those words, to those thoughts, to those actions, reactions. Thus, instead of judging ourselves for having those words, thoughts, actions, and reactions, instead of judging ourselves, let us be grateful to ourselves that we have come to a place in our lives that we're open enough to realize that these judgments and its expressions such as anger, resentment, jealousy, hatred, revenge, anxiousness, stress, all those are just symbols of separation, symbols of where we have separated us, separated us from our true nature. They are simply signposts that are showing us that we're headed in the wrong direction. And would you not be grateful to the signposts if they're showing you that you're going in the wrong direction, that you're headed where you really truly desire not to go? Would you not be grateful for somebody, even strangers, who held up a sign and telling you you're going in the wrong way? And this is all these illusionary ideas are. They are simply symbols. Because in truth, we are only love. This is our true nature. And so when we experience in this world of duality, the ego's programming, we start to notice that the truth in us is not a place of duality. The truth in us is a place of pure love. And love is our creator, and so and then so too we are only love. And this duality is simply helping us remember that we're not it. 
Only because we have become a character in the Eagle's fairy tale does not mean that the fairy tale is now real. But maybe we have read this fairy tale over and over again so many times and maybe we are being tired, becoming tired of it. And so now we are open to another way. A way where judgment of others and self, instead of putting ourselves down for experiencing that, we now offer ourselves gratitude for having the wisdom to be open to new ideas. And so today, let us let go of, let us withdraw our judgments from our brothers and sisters. And let us accept them exactly as they truly are. Let us look past their illusions and look into their truth, into God's love, which is the truth in them. And let us look past our illusionary thoughts of judgment and anger and resentment and revenge. Let us look past that. And not with self-judgment to ourselves or others for that, or to situations for that. Let us look back on that with gratitude, that they're helping us remember that this place, this fairy tale, is somewhere we do not belong. And let our example be that light, that memory, that little assistance that our brothers and sisters need in awakening to their true essence. And so let us simply do that. Instead of judging our brothers and sisters, instead of becoming angry or resentful towards them, we forgive them. Because forgiveness is simply looking past the illusion into the truth within them. When a situation or event stresses us out or we become anxious for X or Y reason, we look past the illusion and we trust. We use trust to look past the illusion and remember that every single person's journey is sacred. And we receive peace and we once again Unite with God. Unite with all which is love. And love is all. Love is wholeness. So when you are looking past your brothers or sisters' illusions, when you're seeing their true nature, when you're forgiving these illusions, symbolically you're forgiving part of yourself. And you're learning to love yourself more and more. Because we are all one. So when we look past our brothers and sisters' illusions, we're looking past our own illusionary thoughts and thinking and remembering that there's something much more truer than that. And that is that we're all love. And the more we align with this love, the more gratitude we experience because we now understand that we're in a perfect sacred journey. And so to our brothers and sisters. And every moment, thanks to free will, we're we'll giving that opportunity to remember this. And so today, let us simply remember this. Let us remember there's no more need to judge ourselves or others. Instead, let us offer ourselves gratitude for being open, for coming to a place in our life that we're not open to the understanding that every moment is indeed a gift that every moment our brothers and sisters are experienced is a gift to them too, regardless of how the ego has painted that. Let, let us do that. And the more we do that for our brothers and sisters, because we're all one, we're doing that really to a part of ourselves. And so little by little, we're, we're becoming more self-loving. And gratitude is the only sane, sane response to the act of becoming more self-loving. And so let us offer that today instead of judgment. The judgment and self-judgment that the ego once spent so much time, energy, and focus on. We have no more need for that. Let us simply be who in truth we are. And let us practice that today. Thank you very much for your time. I love you very much. If you would be so kind as to like, comment, or share the YouTube video, it would help with the listening process and it might help somebody find this video who can might be able to use the information, information someday. 
If you'd like to leave me a question or a comment, I will be delighted to try and offer a response. And if you can please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter. I would love to have you in those communities. Again, thank you for your time. I love you very much. And God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace.